Welcome to the Tunisian city of uh, Hammamet. Just arrived here around 9 a.m. from uh, Tunis, the capital. Walked by the seafront. Absolutely beautiful. This city is so beautiful, so peaceful compared to the capital of Tunis, just a lot more chill. Right now I am inside the cultural center of Hammamet. So basically every time they have big festivals in uh, Hammamet or like big festivals, Tunisian festivals, they are held here. If they have big seminars, they're also held here. And at the same time, they have this uh, huge garden uh, where you can just walk around and explore. What's much more impressive is the view on the ocean. The water is so blue, so clear that it makes this place so very peaceful. There's a villa inside of the cultural center called Villa Sebastian. This is a Romanian guy from Romania who bought this land. It was his residence and he lived here for quite a while. We're gonna go inside and see what's in there. his wife's uh <laughs> we're going to a secret room with a nice uh, view of the ocean so excited wow wow <laughs> the backstory is Sebastian moved from uh, Romania, from Bucharest here, after World, One, World War I, where he built his residence. And he lived here until after World War II, and he was the first person to build his uh, villa here. Then there were some other residents right next to this one. There were a lot of uh, important people who visited throughout the years, including Churchill and the German Roman. general. Rommel. 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 And uh, Churchill wrote uh, some of his memoirs in the residence here. But then after World War II, he couldn't keep the residence, so he sold it to the uh, government. But uh, the residence is really beautiful, and we were able to go inside of the rooms where him and his family, his wife, he didn't have kids, just him and his wife, they were living, and we can see even the furniture that was uh, in some of the rooms. We just received our order of couscous. Here's uh, Sebastian, my friend from uh, the hostel. And uh, there's a, a restaurant outside of the cultural center and they're supposed to have really, really good couscous. And since it's Friday, uh, we ordered some and then the guy just walked in and brought our dish. We've got two couscous, one with the uh, calamari, which is pretty popular here in Tunisia. They make uh, couscous <laughs> with seafood. And then yours, uh, Sebastian? Mouton. Mouton, yeah, with the... Uh, sheep, <laughs> lamb, <laughs> lamb, couscous with lamb, with sheep, couscous with lamb, and then we've got some uh, leben, uh, yogurt that usually goes with couscous. And I'm really excited to try couscous with calamari. This is my first time trying couscous with the seafood. And we're gonna go back to the terrace inside of uh, the villa of Sebastian, where Churchill sat to write his memoir. But instead of writing a memoir, we're gonna eat couscous. <laughs> the view, you can see the water got the calamari but actually even sebastian he ended up getting calamari too and the libin and a little salad too oh my gosh that couscous was fantastic <laughs> I'm so surprised because I never imagined seafood, couscous with seafood, but it was all so, so, so delicious. I think right now we're going to make our way to the waterfronts and back to the old Medina because here in uh, Hammamet they have a beautiful small Medina that you can walk around and it's right by the water and then there is a, a fortress and I checked that out earlier. The fortress had a really nice view and it was really small. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a fortress as small as that. Uh, but it was still worth just checking out real quick and uh, we'll see where our adventure is going to take us next
just arrived in the city of Nabul, not that far from Hammamet, and we were told that it's worth stopping by. This city is famous for pottery, and so we're gonna make our way to the old Medina to check it out. It's quite busy out here, and we'll bring you with, like always. <laughs> 